I've got 10 fragrances here that are gonna be perfect for that professional work environment. Let's be clear, if you're a male stripper, then you wanna go check out my other video, 10 fragrances for a male stripper. And those will get you in a better ballpark of your profession. First one on this list is K by Dolce & Gabbana. This is the Eau de Parfum version. This one is a spectacular, woodsy, dense, blue fragrance. This has such good characteristics to it. It has such freshness. There's a hairspray, I'll pop it up on screen here. It smells exactly like this hairspray. And it's really weird, but I really I really like it. I really, really like it. This one gets great projection and great longevity. If you, when I wear my polo shirt for work, I usually spray on my undershirt and that gets me a lot more longevity. In a professional environment, that's exactly what you're looking for. You can actually pick this one up on eBay for a great price. That's some unique characteristics in here. It's gonna be perfect if you're looking for a versatile cologne for a professional environment. Next one on this list is Yves Saint Laurent and that's Loam Intense. This one has the characteristics of the original Loam and it just brings in some ambers and it makes it super well-rounded. I got a few compliments. The comment that stands out the most with this one was, I was at Lowe's, I was in the lady just, you smell sexy. She was an older lady, it was a little creepy, but it was a compliment, so there's that. This one has great performance and it actually has some good sillage too. And not a lot of people talk about this one, so it does have that kind of unique factor. That's where you stand out a little bit. The original Loam is great too. It's the light juice, but same bottle. That one is a stellar scent. It's a phenomenal fragrance. It's a classic fragrance. Performance is weak though. So just be warned with that. And talk about professionalism. Armani Code Parfum. This one is a great scent if you're looking for a subtle professional fragrance that lasts throughout the entire workday. I spray this one on and I get easily 10 hours out of it. It's an amazing scent. You can actually overspray this one and get some good projection out of it. It's not just a personal bubble scent, but it actually does perform pretty well when you do overspray it. I think that's pretty much with any cologne though takes the Armani Code DNA and it just makes it way more mature. It's not like they were reaching with this one. It's a very good pickup. It's, I think it's the most mature in the entire line. Another professional, versatile scent is Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum. This one is a great, mysterious, dark, fresh, spicy. It does versatility really well, but it brings a masculine edge to it all. That actually kind of gets you in a versatile direction, but it also retains some mysterious character to it. The performance is about six to eight hours. You're gonna get medium projection with this one. It's not like a loud fragrance, so it's actually great for the office environment. It's a very dark, mysterious scent, but it has that freshness and that just alluring aspect to it. It gets labeled as generic, but usually the generic colognes get the most versatility out of them. Moving right to the next one, but first, if you like fragrance-related content, I do fragrance reviews Monday and Friday here on the channel, all things fragrance-related. If that sounds interesting to you, I'd love to have you subscribe. And the next one on this list is Prada Amber Poro. This one is a very soapy, clean kind of fragrance. It's like a bar of soap within a bottle. You're gonna get medium projection. This is not a projection base. This is if you wanna just smell like a bar of soap. You're gonna get great results out of this one. If you're just looking for a cologne to smell really fresh and really uplifting, Prada Amber Pour Homme will get you covered. It just smells like soap. It's a fresh, spicy soap, so it's gonna get you in that great, just versatile direction. I used to wear this to the gym a lot, and you can actually overspray this one and just smell really clean and really fresh. Let's talk about versatility. Ralph's Club Eau de Parfum. This one is a great, versatile, lovely scent. You're gonna get some musky aspects to this. You're gonna get some citruses and some woody nuances in here. Signature scent worthy. A daily driver, you can wear this any time of the year. The Parfum version just came out and I hear it's a very good scent too. It's just this DNA, kind of more well-rounded, more deeper and darker. I haven't got my hands on it, so I can't fully comment on it. This one is a great scent, and if the other one is even better, I might have to pick up a bottle of it eventually. I just love the Eau de Parfum right now. It's a great little gimmicky cap too. It's, it's great. Next one is a very cheap, affordable, fresh scent, and that's Chrome Extreme by Azaro. This one is a very fresh, uplifting. It's very aquatic. It's extreme. I have not tried the Chrome original, and I don't know what extreme means in the Chrome line, but this one has such good facets to it, such good character and you can actually pick it up for pretty cheap. I got my bottle for about $40 and I feel like that falls in that cheap category. This is an awesome scent for just work or daily driving. This is an awesome, awesome scent. Next one has to be one of my favorite professional scents and that's Dior Homme 2020. I love versatility. I love fragrances that I can throw on and just run out the door. And this one is just a no brainer. It's very woody, it's very musky. There's some citruses in here. It's just a phenomenal, great versatile scent that you don't have to think about. You just spray it on 
on and you run out the door. They also came out with a sport version of this, the 2021 sport version, but I'm running out of this juice. I may need to pick up another bottle of this soon, but Diorum 2020, so good. I'm not gonna give this one first place. It deserves it, but I'm not gonna give it to it. Let's loan by Prada. Prada Loam is known as an office fragrance. It's known as a versatile office, beautiful scent. And this one is just, it's fresh, it's uplifting. This is highly regarded as a professional office scent. Everyone and their mother talks about how this is a professional office scent. Maybe a little light for the winter time, but if you're in an office environment, usually it's climate controlled in there. So as long as you're not wearing like 16 sprays of Tuscan leather, you should be okay. And the last one on this list, and I think this is the most professional out of all of these, and that's Blue de Chanel. This is the Eau de Parfum version. Honestly, any of the Blue de Chanel are probably great for an office environment or work environment. The Parfum will probably fit a executive or a CEO better. The Eau de Parfum, well-rounded edges, it smells expensive. And when you're wearing a Chanel, you just feel like a million bucks and it's well warranted. Chanel is a household name at this point. And if you're wearing a Chanel product, you're just, you're feeling on top of the world. So don't have to convince you guys of this one. You all know how beautiful this scent is. Honestly, Prada Lome and Blue de Chanel are the top big boys. If you guys like fragrance related content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I got new content coming out Monday and Friday. Take care guys.